how is the game going? I am winning. Next time, I will win. Talking about indigenous things, I wonder about our indigenous or African science and innovators. We don't hear about them at school or read about them in our textbooks. I wonder why. Yes, that's true. I don't hear much about them either. It would be such a confidence booster to know about African innovators and scientists. Guess that is why Dr. Martin Luther King said, As long as the mind is enslaved, the body can never be free. Psychological freedom, a firm sense of self-esteem, is the most powerful weapon against the long night of physical slavery. When I grow up, I'm going to be the fastest teleporter ever, so we don't have to sit for hours flying to Incidon Town. Talking about Incidon Town, I had my best holiday ever there. Me too. The people are so hospitable. I love the food and music in Incidon Town. I miss our cousins. Our cousins are such fun. Cousin Andem from Incidon Town gave me a gift. She said it is a magic white clay. I wonder where I kept it. I found it, the magic white clay. Wow, what can we do with it? I know who can tell us more about it. Our godfather, Dr. Bakambo. Let's ask Dr. Bakambo. He is wise and full of knowledge. I am calling him now. Oh, it's on call waiting. He's on another call. Let's wait. Do you know that a woman of African ancestry invented call waiting and color ID features for phones? Yes, I know. Her name is Dr. Shirley Jackson. She's a very important person. Why don't we hear a lot about her? Good question, Tolu. Hello. Hello, Godfather. Hello, my dear Goddaughter. The great Makamba. Yes, I'll be great someday. <laughs> you are great already. Greatness is in your DNA. We have a question for you. Do you know anything about the magic white clay found in Africa? Oh, no. Yes. I know about the magic white clay. The Efe tribe of Africa call it Indo. The Yorubas call it Amofunfu. And the Igbos call it Nzu. It is known as Kaolin by most people around the world. We are coming over now. We want to know more. Okay. See you soon. It's a very sunny day. Glad we all have sunscreen on. I have some handy too. Good afternoon, sir. Idem for sir. Eka so, sir. Welcome, children. I am happy to see you all. Our godfather. Please tell us more about this magic clay. The magic clay in your hand is called kaolin. Ndo, nzu, or amofunfu. It is a mineral clay that is commonly found in Africa. Please tell us what is it used for? In some traditional African culture, it is used to detoxify the skin. It is also used as a sunscreen and for UV protection. Like this sunscreen? A more organic version of that. Although some modern day sunscreens also contain kaolin. What else is it used for? It is used in paint, face masks, ceramics and in some stomach soothers. Wow! Other indigenous tribes around the world, like the Aztec tribe, also use a similar type of clay for similar purposes. I have a surprise for you.
garage door open. Wow! Awesome! This is really amazing. I present to you the Truth Travel Capsule. How fast is it? Can I be the pilot? Let's look inside the Truth Travel Capsule and see what we'll find out about the white clay. The Truth Capsule can take you on travels across space and time to discover the truth about science. Welcome on board the Truth Travel Capsule. Wow, these are great discoveries about Undo. Godfather, it all confirms what you told us about Carolyn. I bet this Truth Capsule can help us travel to many countries and cultures to make great discoveries. Yes. It can, and I hope you would enjoy traveling with the Truth Capsule to make more discoveries. It's interesting that we don't hear a lot about how kaolin was used for scientific purposes in African culture. Africa and indigenous science is not talked about a lot in popular media. Africa has made quite a lot of contributions globally in the field of science technology, engineering, and math, though it is not often publicized. African science is good science. More people should know about it. I am proud to be of African ancestry. Yes, me too. Now I know that Africa has always been and continues to be a pioneer in science and technology, engineering, and math. I feel even more empowered to become an engineer and use indigenous science for good.